definitely warmed up a little bit um, pond is up to just over 10 now water is starting to get green so I'm gonna be knocking the UV back on today I think I'll turn the pump up a little bit as well um, get a bit more circulation going on there's a couple of other bits I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna move that back to the other side now I've put the shower down there um, there's a couple of other things I want to get to it and get this net rolled up. There was a lot of wind in the week and uh, quite a few paddles have come off that, so that net was a godsend. There's a few all over the floor, but hardly a thing in the pond. There's one or two gone into my vortex, but uh, once I sort this side out now, it'll be, it'll be fine. I was thinking of putting my dechlorinator on the back so I can just feed straight in to either the Vortex or the, the bio bed there. So um, I'm going to get that done. I'm going to give that a clean because I've done a couple of cleans on it. And bloody hell, it pulls out some crap now. So happy days. So yeah, just a little bit, a few bits going on at the moment. General. It's a bit of a general maintenance, I'll give these a bit of food after, but you can see there, if you can see through the net, the water has gone a little bit green, so yeah, let's roll this net up and uh, we'll go from there. Well, I ended up putting it back here, sorting all my wiring out, um, going to have a bit of a tidy now, going to make sure the dog can't get out any cables, so got my little little guard there so she can't get on the back anymore so I've done that and give these a little bit of food in a minute surprising mine once it goes over time they're up and uh, up and looking follow me around if I'm down that end they're down there if I'm wherever I go they're following me so that's a sign they're either angry or they're thinking, uh, what the hell's he up to now? <laughs> so, right, so what I've done, coming in, everything's, you know, I'm doing things bit by bit here now, and things are starting to take shape and putting some little brackets in. I put my one meter measuring bowl up there, put it away now, because um, that is huge um, bowl and when it's in the garage and when it's in the house it's so big so I thought it'd be better there. Um, got the three stage declarometer on now. Got my, that's the pole for my big net. Um, obviously that's the brush and I've clipped a few, hung a few things up. So yeah, it's starting to take shape. I'm going to think of a plan now for this end um, and go from there. But yeah, I'm happy with the way things are going. I have bought a new hose pipe. Let me just show you. Because of Millie Moon, I put my hose pipe on the other day and I'm, I was getting leaks all over the place. When I look, there's all teeth marks in it. So I've bought this steel one that's flexible, so I doubt you'll be able to chew through that, but you never know. So I'm gonna run that in today. I think it's 7500 foot that should do. And I've just got a couple of bits as well. I bought one of these splitters for the outside tap. So I can just turn it on and off. Or I can, I can leave the pond on and then if you water in plants or anything, I can use that or if you're washing the car or anything like that so 
Yeah, so that, that's the plan. So, I don't know if you've, some of you've noticed, they've taken the old gazebo down, chucked that. Um, so I'm going to run this water hose now all the way around and we're going to go from there. The lilies have taken the cover off, the lilies are in there, it's starting to grow again, so putting them in there has been okay over the winter. The only reason I put them in there, just in case you are new on the channel, is I did salt this for the first time. Um, I only took it up to 0.3 in the end, so could have left them in at 0.3. I will do a check to see what level is in here now at the moment because it has rained quite a bit and I've obviously been doing water changes so I will have a check to see what's in there and I think I'll get them back in under the shelf water's gone very green I think you can pick it up on the camera there anyway there is a shelf it's about three and a half foot deep this end to about there where it goes down so the lilies sit on there so I'm going to get them back in as well yeah so without further ado I'm just going to crack on with a couple of bits right I've run the hose it's really solid and I've just about had the right length so I've, I've just run it all the way around the edge I will be tidying all that area up in the, for the summer now so but yeah and what I've done cool thing is it's got a little valve which I can obviously adjust so I, I've left the tap on and I can just make a little trickle in which I got there Turn it up and down. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. It's off. And I can just let it trickle like that. Happy days. Right guys, lilies are out. So this is the smaller basket. I mean look at the roots on these. Already starting to come back to life busting out of these baskets but uh, there's not a lot I can do with them really <laughs> they're pretty much non-existent and I don't put soil in anymore they just grow like that this is the bigger one um, what do you say look at these roots I'm going to put a big rock there. Um, what I try and do is put a rake on there, garden rake, and load it in without that falling out, which can be very, very tricky. <laughs> it's a, once that's in the pond, a, if that falls out, it's a nightmare to get it back out without getting in there. So, but look at these roots. But what I am thinking of doing this year. Now we've got the shower running there, and lilies don't like too much moving water. So what I'm thinking of doing, I think I'll just put this one in, and I'll put it down by there. Um, and I think that one, I'm thinking of putting that little pond, we're thinking of painting it. I'm putting all the front, and that little pond, you know, the one I used to have a go fishing. So we're thinking of painting that. And put me as a bit of a water feature of the front. So what I think I'll do is put that one into there. So I still have plenty of lily leaves on here, but it won't be as uh, overpowering as when I had them both in there. So, so yeah, I'm gonna try and get that in now. He says. <laughs>
Well, that worked. I didn't think it was going to be that easy. Normally, the bloody stone falls off, but uh, that's in and down. Let's see if I can show you it. There she is. So, stone stayed on. Happy days. So, yeah, I'm thinking of just leaving that one in. I do like having uh, some plants in the pond, that's why obviously I wanted a shelf in the beginning. Um, it, I just, you know, it's just one of those things to me. Um, they just look nice. Obviously, they do help with the uh, night right. So, yeah, this one. Some bad boy roots, even in that one. Look at all the fish up there now. You're thinking, where the hell's that been for the last few months? Any of you with the uh, lilies or any plant life will know that the koi love rummaging round in them and uh, chewing them and ripping them up. What I tend to find is if they get through the this bit now where they sprout in and grow in, they'll be fine then through the summer. If they attack them too early, they will uh, rip them up. Look at them. Sorry for the green water. Let me see, I've turned the pump up a little bit now in the pond. Um, and I got the UV on. I do need to probably check that and clean it, make sure the bulb is, is fine. It's been on for about a week now. It's definitely getting clearer, but... Uh, this video. Just give me a quick update of what I've been up to, what I've been doing. So I should just have a little bit of fruit over there. Yeah, well happy with the way things are going at the moment. The pond is coming on really good. Um, making little tweaks and mods as I go along. Um, yeah, so anyway, I've picked up quite a few new comments so big thanks to you guys who sub into the channel. It's much appreciated. It really means a lot to me. So keep them coming, guys. Uh, like I say, keeps keeps me uh, occupied. Keeps me doing these videos. So it's really good. So yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna end this one, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.